What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here, and today we're gonna teach you how to set up your SingMix 5 hybrid amplifier and receiver. Let's head over to Mike right now, who's gonna show us how to set it up. What's up guys, Mike from Rockville, and today we're looking at the SingMix 5, which is a hybrid amplifier and receiver. I have one here in front of me, let's open this up and see what's inside. All right, so right away we have two rack ears, as well as the screws that you can use to screw them onto the side of the SingMix 5 to rack mount it. Here we have a remote, just another way to control all the functions. And here we have the main unit itself. Now on the front, you'll notice there are three quarter inch microphone inputs, and there's also two quarter inch mic inputs on the back for a total of five wired mic inputs. Now remember, you can always use these quarter inch inputs for wireless mic systems and get even more mics on the SingMix 5. So now once you plug in a mic into one of the five inputs, there's a couple different ways that you can control it. So there's a three band EQ for treble, mids, and bass, so you can get that really dialed into what sounds good around your voice. And there's also delay effect. So there's two parameters that control the delay effect. There's the actual amount of delay, and then there's the delay speed. So if I turn it up, there's more delay. Delay! And then remember over here, this knob controls the overall volume of all the mics. On the back of the SingMix 5, there is RCA outputs for just the mic signal, so you can send just the mic signal to another set of effects or another mixer. Now also on the front of the unit, we have a two band overall system EQ for the music or whatever is coming in through it, as well as a balance knob which will control the left to right fade. Now right below the display, you'll notice these buttons over here. So the A and B buttons stand for the two channels on this unit. Each channel has two sets of speaker wire terminals for stereo sound and they can each accept bare wire or banana cable. And each channel can run down to four ohms so you can have two eight ohm speakers on each channel for a total of four speakers. Now really cool, you can select which channels are playing with the A and B buttons on the front. This means I can use them as a zone controller. Say I'm using the SingMix 5 in a restaurant with ceiling speakers, I can have a group of ceiling speakers wired to channel A in one part of the restaurant and another group wired to channel B in another part of the restaurant. I can have music play through the whole system if both of the buttons are clicked in, but say some people don't want to listen to the music at the time, I could turn that zone off and then just have it playing in the other area. Now the SingMix 5 has a wide variety of playback options including USB, SD card, FM radio, and my personal favorite, Bluetooth. And on the rear there are two RCA inputs labeled AUX and BGM which you can use for iPads, DVD players, TVs, video game consoles, you get the point. There's also an optical in as well as the coaxial in which is great for integrating into home theater setups. And just like there is a mic RCA output, there's also just a line RCA output so you can send the signal to powered speakers, another power amplifier, even a power subwoofers. So this is a very expandable system which is great for pro and DJ use. So we hope this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your SingMix 5 hybrid amplifier and receiver. But of course if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. We'll see you guys next time.